Okay, we'll start off first with the hot water here. The hot water tank is the only way that we in America get hot water. That's the only way it's distributed is through the hot water tank. So it's real important that a student or somebody that's going to maintenance them or work on them and fully understands the nomenclature, the anatomy of the hot water tank and every part of it. And there's a lot of different little safety features on that tank that nobody knows about. So that I'd say that's pivotal right there, number one, why? is well we need hot water and number two how do we get that hot water how is it generated by the hot water tank oh different parts are functionalities because if I have to work on the tank then if I know how the parts function inside there that's going to help me troubleshoot well instead of going through you know 20 different items I can pinpoint maybe two of them and say it's going to be either this or that because this is your problem so it's regulated by a thermostat well, if the thermostat's out, then I'm not going to have hot water. Or if the TMP valve's out, then I'm going to have super hot water because it's not regulating the temperature inside there. So that's why. Okay, the, the only way to generate or produce hot water is to have some type of water come into the tank. And that's the cold water brings that water into the tank so it can be heated inside the tank and then distributed out. So the cold water inlet brings our cold water in, the tank stores that water, and while it's being stored, it's being heated, and when it gets to a certain temperature, it's distributed out through the hot water side. So that's our serviceable of the hot and the cold water. Uh, not much maintenance. The main thing you want to look at on the, the cold side is, okay, first of all, it doesn't have a shutoff valve right above it and that's what you need. You have to have a shutoff valve above the cold water side so if something is wrong with the tank I can shut the water off and drain the tank. So that's real important. Uh, second thing is you want to look at the hot water side and say is there a lot of hard water deposits and why? Uh, it's real critical that and this is very important about the cold and the hot is on each part at the first thing I put on coming out of the tank on both sides is what we call a dielectric union and that will completely stop all the hard water deposits on either side so it's very important that you install a dielectric union and they're sold at just about any place Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever hardware store they will have them and they're very important. They're expensive but they're very important.